Have you ever heard about the FSW exit hole? Understanding this key aspect of friction stir welding can make all the difference. In friction stir welding, the exit hole refers to the location where the FSW tool emerges from the material at the end of the joint. An FSW exit hole is not considered a defect. In most applications, the hole can be positioned in an area that does not affect the function of the final part. For the rest of the time, there are mainly two ways to manage the exit hole. First case, lacing technique. For liquid cold plate parts, for example, a lace can be formed at the end of the weld to close the buckle, ensuring 100% water tightness of the piece. In other cases, it's necessary to weld the entire length of the part. In this case, it's possible to put the hole in a dedicated area of the part that will be removed after welding. It's also possible to add an additional piece designed to contain the exit hole at the end of the welding. Called the run-in and run-out technique, it's furthermore possible to start and finish the weld in a different piece removed after welding. You are now ready to master the basics of the exit hole in friction stir welding process. Have you ever thought about these techniques? Or do you use a different one? Let me know in the comments. If you're still wondering about the FSW exit hole, contact us and we'll give you more technical information and advice on your own parts.